I'm obviously I I haven't given away given away game ball this year, but I gave it to Derek for sucking so bad in those first two possessions, and that got Blaze into the game. I'm just kidding. I I, I yeah, I gave it to Blaze. Blaze was. Uh, I'm so proud of him. He's a guy that has gone through a lot this year with the injury. He got hurt in the Queens game with a high ankle sprain, and you know he's really struggled with that for, from a timing uh, standpoint. We have been working on the big, big lineup for this exact situation when they had two good post players with Wall and with Crowell, and it allowed us to go one-on-one -on -one in the post. We slid Derek to the four and Blaze at the five, and uh, those guys held their ground. Um, we, f we found a way where we got out of rotation, which we obviously didn't do very well in that first half. But you know, for a kid like Blaze, who has not complained one second since he's been here, not one second has he ever come to my office and said, I, you know, can I get more time? He just continues to work. Or, uh, Coach Ziegler's done a great job giving him uh, individual workouts, him and Oleg. And you know, for it to pay off in a game like this, where we got down 17, and you know the biggest thing I'm proud of, we kind of got that identity back a little bit today. With I think they had 12 in the first media, and then 17 the rest of the game. And Blaze was a huge part of that. Uh, young guys made some big plays. Uh, Jamarcus stepped up, hit that huge three. Uh, Sam made a big steal uh, after the timeout, and the high-low pass, and we rebounded the ball well. That, that's the thing in the second half. Our rebounding allowed us to get out in transition, and then we started running really complicated offense. I said, just go find C, uh, Casey and screen him, and that's what got him going. It got him open and got us back into the game. So again, really proud of the guys for their effort and just their resilience. You know, They could have folded when we got down 17, but they just kept, kept coming, and, and that's the thing you, you love to see out of your team. Five or six guys there. Derek called this a complete, total effort to win the game like this under these circumstances, down 17, uh, and, and pull it out the way that you did. How much of a testament is it to this group to, to be able to even pull off something like that? Well, and, and I'll say this about Derek. You know, obviously the first two possessions, second half, were disappointing. The first possession of the game was disappointing. We didn't execute what we were supposed to. And Derek came over. He was he was heated at I think a lot of it at himself. But he really composed himself, got back in the game, and just those plays he made down the stretch and in overtime. We went to him on the last play of the game. Um, but those plays he made in overtime to get us going after they scored the first basket, and then we just uh, kind of took it from there. But Derek was the guy that we put the ball in his hands, whether dribble handoff to Kese. Blaze did a great job screening to get Kese open on some of those shots. But you know, just kind of clear out the side for Derek, and he made play after play. I thought Greasel had really good control. Uh, especially in the second half. First half, we just, you know, we kind of lost our mind a little bit. We were driving into the pile. Uh, I think we had one assist and eight turnovers at halftime. And second half, we got much better movement. We didn't force it as much. Still uh, too many turnovers. I think first two possessions, we had two of the seven we had in the last 25 minutes. But, you know, overall, I, th I thought we played much better, much smarter. And, you know, a big part of that was getting stops, not taking the ball out of the net uh, every possession. Team's been through a lot, obviously, with the injuries and everything. How special was that five-minute stretch in particular? Right, I think it was a twenty-to-two run that just erased everything. Right. Yeah. The the fun part for I think everybody was just how into it, the bench, the crowd. The crowd was absolutely phenomenal today, and it's why you do it. It, it, it just you know to to find a way to you know we talk to our team all the time about there's going to be runs and there's going to be adversity and you got to fight through it we knew Wisconsin would keep coming they're one of the most poised teams in the country Greg Gard does such a great job with that but you know our guys they found a way to keep composure and when we went on that run just to see everybody the excitement how excited everybody was for Blaze if you could have seen the locker room after everybody came up to a man and, and hugged Blaze because of the type of kid he is and, and what he means uh, to everybody. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely one to uh, to build on. It was, you know, it was, again, the big, big lineup. We've been waiting to throw it out there and, you know, it, it ended up paying off for us. Were you trying to go, it looked like a two for one situation there, sort of out of that timeout and regulation at the end? Yeah, of the I mean, we uh, we wanted to get the best available shot and we got it to Derek and, um, you know, the Corral, I thought, made a really good defensive play. Went up vertical, but, you know, we just ran a little fake handoff to Kese and then tried to get Corral to jump out. He stayed underneath Derek and I thought played him very good one on one defense. But uh, that was uh, that's what we wanted to do get Derek the ball in space and, and try to get him to make a play. Look, Wisconsin got to end the game. Were you guys content with that? Yeah, I'm sorry. 
I said the look Wisconsin got to add regulation where you can tell with that. Yeah, yeah, you know, Chucky takes and makes big shots, and ball ball was in his hands, obviously, and uh, I thought we did a good job of staying square. You know, that that's good job by our, our coaches understanding end of the game. They try to confuse on a guard-to-guard -guard screen and slip out of it. I thought our guys did a good job staying square and forced Chucky into a tough contested shot. You know, he can make them. There's no doubt about it. The kid's a hell of a player. thought he had a great game today. Uh, but, yeah, I, I was pleased how we defended that last shot. You started the press conference saying, you know, you, you couldn't describe, you know, how this, how this game felt. But, you know, with being down 17, having some you know, turmoil, you could say, and then having this incredible crowd along with you, does this rank amongst – some of your favorite days or wins as the Nebraska head coach? Yeah, it, 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 it absolutely does. Just because, you know, our, our fans, I think, have appreciated this group. And, um, you know, I talked the other day in the media, it's really been like coaching two different teams with, um, you know, when Emmanuel and Jawan were healthy and the way we were playing with those guys. It's really been three teams because Derek missed the first five. And that's a completely different lineup that we had to uh, do some things with that we're doing differently now. So, you know, for these guys to continue to fight through everything that we faced, uh, the one thing that's been constant is the effort. These guys have continued to go out there and fight and stay together. You know, everybody sees what they do on the floor, but what you don't see is what they do behind the scenes and the preparation and the attentiveness in the film session and growing from mistakes and, and trying to uh, get better from that. And we've been on a heck of a stretch. I mean, we played pretty much home road, home road, and hadn't, hadn't had more than two days prep. And we finish off with one more of those in you know third time in the east coast i think in the last two weeks so you know we got to find a way to battle through it we get a chance to exhale a little bit after uh the game at rutgers i told our guys they need to enjoy it they deserve to enjoy this one uh but we got a big day tomorrow to start preparing for a very good rutgers team how many uh, 17 point comebacks have you uh been a part of oh god amy i don't know i've been playing a long time eight nine ten i don't know i don't know <laughs> Is, uh, this was fun this is Wilhelm okay? I know that he yeah, yeah, he got popped in the face, but he's uh, he's okay. Yep, yep. Yeah. Coach for precautionary reasons, or just the way the flow of the game was going. Yeah, but I was pleased with Wilhelm. I thought he gave us good minutes today as a starter. Yep, thank you. Thank you.